When federal agents showed up at Armando Herrera's door, they accused him of selling black market HIV medication, arrested him, and put him entirely out of business. The case against Mr. Herrera is not unusual. We've seen it several times before. You acquire diverted or black market medication, maybe even empty packaging, fill it with whatever you have handy, then you falsify documentation and sell it back into the supply chain through wholesalers that you control or that your compatriots control, but are falsifying their entry into the supply chain. Patients and pharmacies are victimized and you profit. One of the more interesting things we found with this case is that when they arrested him, they filed forfeiture paper for over 27,000 black market HIV medications that were just sitting there. They took them off the market as part of that forfeiture and they will presumably be destroyed. Mr. Herrera was indicted in the Southern District of Florida for trafficking in misbranded medication from 2019 to 2021. We know that these cases are not the sexiest. They don't have that same sheen of terrorism or of chasing Mexican cartels, but the truth is there are 650 American HIV patients who did not get dangerous black market medication because of them. And we are thankful for their hard work every day bringing criminals like this to justice. Herrera is one of a more than 150 defendants in a, in a massive trademark lawsuit alleging black market HIV medication that was trafficked and then distributed to patients. You can learn more about that suit by watching our playlist of videos where we've covered it before on our YouTube channel.